Close your eyes, watch your breath. Notice the effect that it's having on the body. You can try long breathing for a while, see what effect that has, and then shorter breathing. Faster, slower, heavier, lighter. It's by making comparisons like this that you gain some insight. Lumpudun, one of the John Mun's earliest students, was asked one time how to develop insight based on concentration. He says, you start looking at things in terms of pairs. You try one thing, and then you try the opposite, and then you decide which is better. If you don't make comparisons, there's no way you're going to gain any kind of insight. If you just watch things coming and going and note they're coming and going, no insight comes from that. The insight comes when you say, okay, when I do this, X results. When I do that, Y results. And then which is better? It's in this way that meditation becomes a skill, and your whole approach, approach to the practice becomes a skill as well, based on your own powers of observation. This is what the Buddha said, let someone who is observant come, someone who is truthful, and I will teach that person the Dharma. You have to observe. And the best way to observe things is to change the causes and see what results come about. So with the breath, you can try different kinds of breathing. With the mind, you can try focusing in different ways. You can try different ranges of awareness. You can fill the whole head. You can fill the whole torso. You can fill the whole body. Lots of things you can compare. And over time, you get a better and better sense of which is better. Then you pursue the better until it gets better and better still. And where does the insight come from? It's not something that someone puts into your head. And you're not trying to clone somebody else's insights. You're trying to gain some insight into what you do and the results of what you're doing and how you can make it more and more skillful. That's what the Four Noble Truths are all about, about developing skill, seeing that there's something wrong in the way you engage with the world, and realizing there are ways you can change your ways and have the opposite result. Instead of causing suffering, you can put an end to it. So we're here to make comparisons. There's nothing wrong with dualities. In fact, it's from dualities that we learn.